What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we are replacing our 50 amp outlet on the back of our fifth wheel, so stay tuned. So the reason that we're having to replace this, you can see this prong is loose. Um, I noticed the last couple times when I went to attach our plug here, it was really hard to go in. Uh, it was giving me a hard time getting to go in the socket. And the problem is this, with this being loose, it's not allowing our plug to slide in the way it's supposed to. Um, I can get it in there, but it's not it's, it's hard, you gotta kinda fight with it to get it lined up right to get it in there. Obviously that's not correct. You can see where it's been hot on the back back there. So I think this happened, uh, we were caught in a rainstorm and I was real quick just trying to get hooked up and I feel like I may not have had that uh, twist sock connector all the way twisted over all the way. So I feel like maybe that connection might have been a little loose and that's what's caused that to get hot and ultimately become loose inside the socket. We don't have any power issues inside the fifth wheel at all. Everything works the way it's supposed to, but obviously having that loose prong, that's not right. And we definitely want to get that taken care of. So we went on Amazon and ordered a uh, Furion 50 amp uh, receptacle. It's identical to the ones on the trailer. There's a lot of different ones out there. There's uh, different brands, there's aftermarket ones, but I wanted to go with the Furion one because I knew that to start with, I wanted to make sure all of our screw holes would line up and go right back where this one is. Uh, I didn't want to take a chance on something being off a little bit and then running into a problem getting the new, uh, the new socket to mount where it's supposed to mount. So when you order this, it's going to come with a lot of parts. You're going to get the outlet. It's going to have the gasket that goes behind it. You're going to, it's going to come with uh, the cover that's going to go on the back after we get the wire, uh, wiring all put in. And then it's gonna come with a couple different style cable supports. It's gonna help keep the pressure off of, the, off of your cable going into the back of the plug. First thing we gotta do is get the old one out. That should be pretty simple. We're just gonna take these four screws out. So that's easy enough. We have this out. See, there's our old gasket. We have plenty of plenty of cable to pull it out so we can work on it. And now that I've got it out, you can really see where this plug has gotten hot. Uh, the plastic's starting to warp a little bit back here. So get this thing all taken apart and see how it looks. We're gonna start by unscrewing this here on the back. Then we have two screws inside that we need to take out so that we can get this cover off and access the back. There we go. And as you can see, we had some big problems going on here. So, this is totally melted. So definitely a major issue. That wire is even loose in there. So I'm amazed that we had anything working inside the trailer. Oh, in fact, all these wires are loose. Everything is loose in there. This is how it came from the factory. I have not taken any of these screws loose and these wires just pulled right out. So that in itself is probably why this got really hot. Um, loose connections will cause extra resistance, which is gonna build up heat and gonna cause this. Um, I said the fact that this was actually even powering up the RV is, is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. So, get the rest of these out. Gotta be honest, that's actually, uh, that's actually pretty scary. So 
so you can see this plug was I mean we had some problems some big problems getting ready to happen so I'm going to take all this off all this old stuff is going to come off so you can see the uh, support they use was this style this clamp style here so it comes with a new one I'll use that one so we're going to get rid of all the old stuff get rid of the old nut everything the good news is the wires, the wire looks fine. It looks like all the damage was done like actually on the plug side. So the wire looks all right. We'll clean that up a little bit. On the back of your new outlet, everything is color coded, white, red, black, green. So super, uh, super, super simple to replace this. I mean, it's gonna go, everything is just gonna go right back in the exact same place where you pulled it out of the old one. So you don't have to try to remember which wires went where, everything's color coded, and it matches up to the old one that we had. So we should be good to go. Take a little wire brush and clean these connections up really good right here. Now, before we put our new outlet on, we have to put on our gasket first. Just gonna slide the gasket on. Next, we'll slide on our nut. Slide on our cable support. So the tapered side is actually gonna go toward the trailer. Tapered side goes toward the trailer so that as you tighten this retaining nut into the back of the housing, it'll clamp down on it and help support it. Next, we'll have to put on our housing. And now we're ready to put on our plug. So they all kind of need to go in at the same time makes it a little easier make sure they're in all the way and then we'll tighten them down make sure we're tightening down on the actual wire and not the not the cover around the outside of it so we're going to make sure these are nice and tight All right, so there you go. I mean, that's the new the new receptacle, not hard to wire. Um, I mean, everything's in there now. Everything's really good and tight. So now we're going to put our shroud, our cover uh, on the back. So there's a little notch in the top of it. So you're just gonna line that up with the top here and that'll slide right on. Open it up. We're going to tighten our screws here. You don't have to over tighten these crazy. I mean, it's just holding the cover on the back. So you don't want to strip them out. So just snug those down so your cover's nice and tight on the back. I'm going to slide our support into the back. Put the nut on it. Just 
some channel locks. I'm going to tighten this nut down just a little bit more. So now our cable's held in nice and tight in the back so there's not any pressure pulling on our wires from the inside. Slide our gasket in place. And just put everything back. So now I'm gonna start these screws by hand to make sure they're in the right spot. And we just use the drill to bring it all the way in. Just kind of work it back and forth so that it tightens down nice and even. So now this should plug in nice and smooth. Oh yeah. See, before when I was trying to do this, I would get to this point, and I would really have to work it around to get the prong to line up with the slot on the back side of the cord. But now it goes in. And what I mentioned earlier, how I think that might have happened, well, how I thought it happened originally was during that rainstorm, I was in a rush, and I thought that maybe I just slid this in and just kind of gave it a little, a little turn and tightened it down so that those prongs were not engaged all the way. Um, but after seeing how loose everything was on the back, I think the real culprit is those loose wires to begin with. Um, I mean, we've been, we've been full time in our fifth wheel now for four years uh, and I've never had that plug off. So um, they, they had to have been loose the whole time, which is, um, which is pretty scary. I guess they could have worked loose, but I mean, you see how how this clamp holds the wire tight. So there's no pressure pulling on that, on your wire coming in here. Um, so I don't think that, that there was pressure that pulled them loose. Uh, I think they were just incredibly loose in the factory. And this is 100% a fire hazard. Um, I would encourage everybody after seeing what I just saw here when I pulled this apart um, even if you're not having an issue it may be worth it take a few minutes it's only four screws pop that out and just kind of examine uh, where your cable connection is on the back because uh, that's that's no good and uh, that's that's pretty scary actually all right so source protector just kicked the power back on everything's running got our blue light on top so we know we got power going to it so I mean there you have it you know that um, that's not what I was expecting to find when I opened this up uh, I think we got really really lucky and uh, I'm glad I decided to go ahead and do this now that's gonna do it hopefully you guys learned something or hopefully you're made aware of uh, a possible danger that is right in the back of your RV we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys down the road.